Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Big Brain Detective Game. This was sent to me by Funko Games, and this is a uh, sort of Where's Waldo detective game. Uh, and obviously it's for kids, uh, ages 5 and up, but uh, I, I, I guess I'm reviewing it anyway. Let me show you how to play. So in Big Brain Detective Game, you have this gigantic map, and it's so big, let me just, yeah. And here's my hand for scale. So yeah, this thing is massive. It's four uh, planks you sort of put together. And you've got a board over here. Um, you have five mystery cards. There's a whole set of cards that you can pull out. Um, green cards are for all ages. And then red cards are a little more difficult. Um, they encourage you if you have younger players. You can also just play it as a Where's Waldo game of just find the picture. Um, or the, the thing in the picture. But basically each car card has a question. So this one says, Cedric Circuits finished his new robot. Can you figure out what color it is? This thing up here tells you which quadrant to look at. So if you look up here, can you guys do it? Uh, it, it is quite a lot to look at, I will say. Um, now I gotta find it. Where are you, Cedric? Oh, there he is. So you can see right there, there he is. And so, uh, what color is his robot? His robot is, if you see right next to him, red. And then the back shows you the answer. Um, also, you can score a token. I'll get into these bonus things in a second. But your goal is to score 20 or, or more points. You have a timer uh, you can use. Um, and then, yeah, you're all on a team. And so when you read this first question, you're all looking for the answer together. When you're thinking you know the answer, you flip it over. Um, and if you found that answer before the time ran out, then you add a token to your score pile. So there's a pile of random tokens here. You take one, put it into your token section. Every card also has a chance uh, to do a bonus activity. So this one says score a token if you can find three robots with different numbers on them. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is an option. And these don't have a time limit. If you can do the bonus action, uh, then you get another token. When you solve the mystery, you place it on the detective board to mark that it is complete. At the end of the game, um, you uh, once you've investigated all the cards, you flip over these tokens, and if you have 20 or more, you can see they're random numbers, then you win. And that's the game. So let's just kind of go into you know, some of the sort of questions you can get asked. It's all pretty much like, uh, where's Waldo type stuff. Can you figure out what Cosmo the astronaut dinosaur got from the Tooth Fairy? Um, a, an example of a red one would be, Reginald must really love top hats. Look how many he has. Can you find the store where he bought them? And then um, some examples of bonuses are like, uh, oh, score a token if you can find the plane advertising the hat sale. That's an example of a red bonus. There's other ones like, uh, oh, score a token if you can find something else on the map as long as your finger. And there's also like physical activities, you know, a lot of stuff that's just fun for kids. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, you're just trying to answer the questions by looking at this big old map. And that's the game. So this is like a cute little Where's Waldo game, although it's not very little. Uh, the table space it demands is actually very big, which can be a little inconvenient. I mean, I get it, but it, it's just kind of a lot. Um, the art is also very distracting for my taste. I think kids might dig it, but as an adult, it's kind of a headache to look at. It's very colorful and chaotic. Uh, like, for example, like in a Where, Where's Waldo book, there's a lot of things going on in it, but it's fun to look at all the details of all the, what's happening in the scene. But something about this art, to me, just reads like distracting noise, which, you know, your mileage is going to vary on that. With that aside, though, the core concept is, you know, it's, it's decent. You got little mysteries to solve and different difficulty levels, which is nice for kids. You know, the cards do tell you which sector of the map that the cards are in, because otherwise it'd just be impossible. But it also does make it a very simple experience, because you're always looking at, you know exactly which area to look at. I do like the addition of there are these little like physical challenges, you know, you can do. I think any chances for silliness in a game like this is always cute and fun. Overall, it's just like a cute Where's Waldo game. I think if you're looking for a game like this that is more fun for adults as well, Micro Macro Crime City, I would highly recommend. But this one, you know, the art's not my style, but it may be right for your kids. 
and for little kids especially, and ultimately, that's all that really matters is if kids have fun with it. I think, it, you know, it's, it's a good little kids activity. Uh, just not as accessible for adults, but who cares, it's a kids game.